I'm a proud dad today, guys. Different kind of dad, obviously. We got baby germs right here on day six. I'm gonna show you my progress today, so let's get started. So like I said, I'm a proud dad today. I got some baby germination right here. I actually had, saw germination on day four. Um, I'll show you a picture here. Uh, it was just sprouted out. I was early in the morning when I left for work and it, I could see the little bit of grass, obviously, the little bit of green popping out of the ground. And that's awesome. I mean, day four for germination on a seed is so awesome. I mean, that's just, that's what happens when you get quality seed. Quality seed is just gonna have a better germination rate it's going to have a faster germination rate and that's why i really harped on having good quality grass seed on one of the five steps for my successful overseed so like i said day four i saw germination we're at day six right here this is friday september 10th i threw down september 4th over labor day weekend so we're at day six i mean this this looks really great um really great progress i'm really happy with the germination that i'm seeing and this is all throughout the yard um, every different spot I am seeing germination and it's 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 coming in really great and I'm, I'm extremely happy with my uh, with my seed so far so obviously I don't want to step out on the grass here and mess anything up uh, the germ obviously there's still baby seeds in there and I don't want you know mess anything up so please I recommend when you go to do your overseed at least you got to stay off that lawn at least as long as you can uh, up to three weeks if you can um, I would say after about two weeks or about a week and a half after the germination, if you want to walk on it, it's fine. Um, the grass, the roots should be deep enough where you're not going to do a ton of damage. But if you can, stay off your grass as long as possible. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get down in the grass. I'm going to pull out one of the baby germs and I'll, let's see how deep those roots are at day six. Oh, look at that. Hopefully this camera can focus here for me. But look at that root depth right there. So as you can see here, I have the grass blade out. Um, this is actually the back of my phone. This is my case. It's a black background, so it's easier for you guys to see at home. I mean, the grass blade itself right here, I mean, we're practically at an inch long in the grass blade itself. And the root over here, I mean, we're probably almost at a half an inch. And you can actually still see the grass seed itself. I mean, it's literally still germinating right now through the grass seed. And we're only at day six. So this is awesome progress. I'm so happy I went with a high quality seed with the Mountain View seed. And I can't wait to see this continue to grow. So some of the things to point out on my lawn behind me, obviously you can still see some weeds and things like that. Um, that's fine with me. In my opinion, I don't like using chemicals in my lawn like herbicides, like tenacity and things like that. Um, I strictly try to stick to just growing a lush green lawn and crowding out the weeds naturally with a thick lawn. So the only things that I really like using in my lawn are biostimulants like RGS and Air 8. Um, obviously Green County Fertilizer makes those. Um, those are very organic based uh, biostimulants. And the only other things I like using are professional grade fertilizers like Yard Mastery cells. I highly recommend Yard Mastery. They are a great brand. DIY first mentality. So I highly recommend your mastery products. That's why I only use professional grade stuff in my lawn. So this is the side of my house right here behind me. As you can see, it's filling in very nicely, especially in those patches over there. Um, I was moving a lot of sprinklers around in that area right here. And as you know, I completely covered my lawn with peat moss with the Lansy peat moss spreader. Um, I highly recommend that if you are gonna do a top dressing like peat moss, it made things a lot easier. So I am still watering my lawn uh, four times a day right now. Um, that's what I like to do on my overseed. I at least like to water four times a day while that seed is still germinating. Obviously, you can see it is still germinating. It's only at an inch long and a half an inch at that root depth right now. So I still like to water at least four times a day. I just did a video on how I water my lawn for an overseed um, and the different kind of sprinklers that I use at my house. So I'll leave that in the video description below that video and above. You guys all know that the starter fertilizer that I use for my overseed, and if you're new, I like using the Yard Mastery brand. It's a 12-12-12 starter fertilizer. Um, I just really like their brand, and I like using it. It's a very balanced starter fertilizer. Um, so I'm gonna throw that down again on day 15, three pounds per 1,000 is the recommended rate. 
So again, day 15, you wanna hit another dose of the starter fertilizer. You wanna keep continuing driving those roots in the ground. And that's what's important about that day 15. You wanna keep driving those roots. So you're gonna hit it with another dose of the starter fertilizer. So again, we encourage that new growth in the new grass seed. And again, we just wanna continue doing the waterings that we're doing. I'm still doing four times a day, like I talked about earlier. Um, that's what I recommend. I like keeping that soil moist so we can keep those roots going. And then, like I said, in the video description below, I'll put the video that I did a full length video on how to water new grass seed. Um, I go into more in depth about how to taper off and know when to taper off on the watering. So again, check out that video below if you haven't checked that out. Um, and also, I'll keep updating you guys throughout my progress here. Again, we're at day six right here behind me. We're seeing awesome results with the Mountain View seed. So I'll probably put out another video in another five days or so after this video comes out, just to keep showing you the progress and keep showing you the germination that I'm getting. Um, so that's what I'll keep doing. Keep updating you guys. Leave comments below. If you have any questions on today's video or on anything on my channel, please leave a comment below. I'll get back to you if you have any questions at all and like always guys if you found today's content helpful make sure you smash that like button it helps out with the YouTube algorithm so other people can find my videos and find my channel and if you're new please consider subscribing to my channel and if you want to learn the five steps that I did for my fall overseed to achieve the germination right here behind me on day six check out the video right here and if you're new subscribe right here and like always I'll see you in the next one